So good morning. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day 25 of Ignite and it's Sunday. Um, so we're going to do fancy gliders. It's been a while since we've really played in gliders and they're really satisfying and very deep into my lower back. And um, they always meet the, these very chunky, strong places in my body. Um, and then, yeah, just some deep hips as well. Um, as always, mind your knees and uh, yeah, come, lie on your back. Come, come. So lying on your back, your knees are bent and your feet are flat on the floor to begin with. You have a sense of really settling down and arriving in. I really, really love this journey of Finding the support of the floor, maybe deepening into that contact. Nice. And then just begin to sway your knees from side to side. And as you sway your knees, just feel the pulls and the drags and the, the sensations that emerge, the song of your body today, the deep, yeah, the deep music of your body. Um, the tones, the textures. How is it to be in your body in this moment, listening to what happens as you move? Nice, come all the way back to center. And then squeeze your right knee up onto your chest and just hug it deeply down and pause there. Let it settle, let your bum settle, your knee settle. Let your lower back land a bit deeper onto the floor. Nice, stretch your right leg up, hold on to it. And I'm not pulling my leg, but I have a firm grip and then I let my arms relax. So the weight of my arms is pulling on my leg. Mm, point your toes, flex your foot. Point your toes, flex your foot, and then roll your ankle in a circle. And then in the other direction. Nice, bend your right knee, squeeze it up towards you, and then lift the left foot off the floor and begin to let the left leg travel. So it lengthens long, and then you bend your left knee up towards you till your left thigh bangs into your left elbow. And just feel the travel of your leg. Breathing into your belly, noticing the sensations of your body. Nice. Pause with your leg long. Pull your right leg even closer towards you. And just really deepen into your belly. I love that sense of grounding through my spine and then imagining that I'm pushing a stone away from me with that left leg. So my left leg begins to extend in power out of my hip, out of my belly. Get a sense of that this morning. Nice. Bring both feet to the floor. Sway your knees from side to side and just connect in. Nice. Feet to the floor. Roll up and down along your spine. And as you travel up and down, and just squeezing your bum a little bit extra. Feel the, the power of your spine and wellness. Nice. Come all the way back down. Pause. Great. Squeeze the left knee up towards you. Hug it in. Deepen your breath, let your bum, your hip, your lower back really let, uh, soften and rest into the floor. Deepening your breath. Right, and then stretch your left leg up towards the ceiling. And again, just hold on firmly wherever you are. 
and then let your shoulders relax and the weight of your shoulders will just gently give some more length into the back of your leg. And pointing your toes, flexing your foot. Hmm, pointing your toes, flexing your foot, and then roll in a big circle. And as you circle, just feel into that leg. And then circle in the other direction. Nice. Bend your left knee, squeeze it up towards you. Stabilize through the back of your spine, and then let your right leg travel. And as your right leg travels, Find the distance of extension through that thigh that feels like wellness. It took me a long time to work out the difference between the sensations I assumed would be yoga, which are if I go so far and I feel what I thought was a yoga stretch was actually an overextension of my joints. It was like too strong. But, and that's what I thought yoga was. And now, I really dance this side of that uncomfortable overextension. So I'm really feeling into my body as I do this and I'm going, you know, I feel very well and I'm not pushing myself. I'm really honoring the deep of the sensation of my leg. Pause with your leg long and just deepen your breath into your belly. Strong down into your leg. Squeeze both knees up towards you, hug them in, and then both feet to the floor, lift your hips up off the floor. So notice the, um, there's counter poses, opposites that we do often. So before we had our knees squeezed up towards our chest, and now we're squeezing our knees towards our chest, but then we're opening into the front of our hips. And so when I do counter poses, it always feels like a groany, achy satisfaction in the front of my hips and my lower back as I push and then squeeze. One more time. Push and pause on the push. Find a, a distance that feels really comfortable to you. A sense of opening through your thighs, squeezing your bum. Widen your shoulders, connect your elbows into the floor. Even connect your fingertips into the floor. Tuck your chin in a little bit more. Squeeze your knees slightly towards each other. Another way of saying that is push your big toes a little bit more into the floor. All right, deepen your breath. Super. All the way down, land on the floor. So bring your feet so they're not together, but they're pretty close. And so my, I can feel that my thighs are just about to touch and my feet are maybe two inches apart. Bring your arms wide and rest them on the floor. So fancy gliders. So we'll start with just straightforward gliders. Drop both knees down to the right and then glide your left knee up in the direction of your right shoulder. And then come to the other side. Your feet are narrower than what we usually do. Just feel that. As always, the first few times of my gliders, it's like my ribs sort of start to really express a deep sense of achiness and a joy of moving. Just feel that in your body. What are the sensations for you? And are you dancing this side of discomfort? <laughs> One more time each side. Nice. Come back to center. Keep your arms wide. Roll up along your spine. And then land down. Come into an arching. And then flatten down. Roll up along your spine. And landing all the way down. Great. So drop both knees down to the right. And then bring your left knee on top of your right knee. And then bring your right hand to rest on your right thigh or near your knee. Or, hmm, I can't reach my knee, but somewhere on your thigh. 
and my elbows on the floor. So the right leg will not move anymore. So the left leg will begin to move. So lift the left knee up and try and bring the left knee as far to the left as you can, keeping your right knee and thigh on the floor. And then drop down. So my knee stays on the floor, my shin stays on the floor. My thigh does move a little bit, but just because of the shape of our bodies. Just feel that. Left knee travels as far to the left as it can go. And my right knee, right calf stays really firmly on the floor. Nice, one more time. Super, pause on the up. Draw your left knee up towards your chest and then down towards your right elbow and then knee to knee and then way back again so draw the biggest circle that you can with your left knee and one bit that i have to remember in the circling of the knee is to really yesterday we did it it was that the oil um weight in texas you have to really push your left foot backwards and then your knee begins to lift. So it's the, the hatchet move has to happen in the midst of this movement. And then in the other direction, how do you make the biggest circle that you can with your left knee while keeping your right thigh on the floor, right knee on the floor? Nice, come back to center, drop your left knee down towards the left, bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee, Turn your chest towards the left, your head towards the left. Look down along the left arm. Nice, come back to center. Both feet to the floor, pause. Do you feel crooked? I do. So my right side feels very squishy. My left side feels quite big. And we're just going to roll up and down along the spine. Just bring our spine back into a sense of long line with itself. Rolling up and down. One more time. Super. Drop your bum to the floor. Your feet are quite close. Drop your knees to the left. Bring your left hand to your left thigh. And now the left thigh will stay where it is. Lift the right knee up and bring it as far to the right as it'll go. And then right knee drops down towards the left knee. And so really have a sense of that squeezing your knee down. So it opens out to the side and then your knee squeezes down. Side down can you make the movement smoother can you make the movement more connected in some way one more time cool so bring your right knee up and then draw your right knee up towards your shoulder as such, down towards your elbow. And then foot goes back, knee rises up. And all the time your left knee is staying on the floor. I'm just trying to draw the biggest circle that I can into fancy gliders. <laughs> and then circle in the other direction. Super cool. Bring both knees together. Glide your knee a little bit more over towards the left. Hold on to your knee with your left hand. Turn your head towards the right and look down around along the right arm. Nice. Come back to center. Both feet to the floor. Land. And then bring your elbows. You can stretch your legs out long if you wish. So bring your elbows so that your hands are in the air and your 
like sideways here. Hands are in the air and your elbows are on the floor. And then drop your right hand down so you bring your palm to the floor and drop your left hand back so your nails, the back of your hand comes to the floor. And then begin to glide from one to the other. I'm always really amazed at the shape that starts to happen in my spine. Like if you could slightly exaggerate the way your nose is turning as you do this, what way would you naturally turn? Can you feel the slight turn of your head? So begin to exaggerate by pulling your shoulder downwards and drawing your shoulder forwards. So now we're really beginning to move the rib cage and my head is beginning to drop. So my head drops towards the palm that's facing the ceiling and I'm turning my nose in that direction. And my ribs feel like they're being squeezed out like a tea towel. How would you make this movement smoother? How would you make it more coherent or deeper or connected in your body? Nice, right, so one more time, each side. This is the one that in the beginning of the month, Sinead was like, oh, it's like, it's like country dancing on the floor. <laughs> so reach your arms straight out to the sides, bring your palms towards the ceiling and just pause there with your arms long and out to the side. Nice. And then reach both hands up towards the ceiling and just lift one shoulder off the floor and then lift the other shoulder off the floor. And to do that, I'm going to reach my hand. And so I, I feel like my shoulders are going for a walk. And as they lift, the opposite shoulder is pushing into the floor and my head is turning again. So how would you lift your shoulder even higher? Would you include your hip in what you're doing? Could you include your feet, your head? Like how would you reach as far as you possibly can? Nice, one more time each side. Nice, reach your arms wide, let them rest on the floor, pause. So lift your right foot up and bring your right ankle to rest on top of the left knee and then rock from side to side here. And as I'm rocking from side to side, I'm keeping my shoulders on the floor. So there's a slight slide as my knee travels over towards or my legs travel over towards the right. My left shoulder slides on the floor a little bit Let it slide keep it in contact and to do that i feel a little bit like i'm extending or giving weight into the back of my shoulder the back of my rib cage i'm just feeling sensing nice lift your left foot off the floor let that squeeze your knee towards you pause there And bend your elbows, reach both arms up towards the ceiling and then try and lift one shoulder and then the other shoulder off the floor here. Just notice what happens. Listen to your neck, listen to your shoulders. So you've anchored your pelvis so it's only the rib cage. <laughs> nice. Bring your feet to the floor, pause. Nice other side, bring the left foot up, let it rest on the top of the right knee. Arms are wide, begin to rock from side to side. In wellness, what is the deepest, smoothest movement that you can create in this moment? I think as soon as I start thinking smooth, it changes my awareness. So rather than it being like a metronome, that just kind of hits the end of its movement. Kink, kink, kink. I'm more like a, a really soft, 
flowing figure of eight. So it doesn't have a hard edge at the end of my movement. And it's really flowing in smoothness and softness and connectedness. Nice. Bring your arm, oh, lift your right foot up. <laughs> Squeeze your knee towards you. Let that draw the left knee up as well. And last movement, reach both arms up and then see how it would be to lift one shoulder and then the other shoulder off the floor. Nice. Arms are wide, feet come down. And drop both knees to the right or whatever way you like. There's only two options, really. <laughs> Back to center, drop your knees down towards the left. Turn your head as well, either in the same direction or in the opposite direction. Nice, and then come back to center. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart, uh, or stretch your legs out long, or bend your knees or rock, or do whatever it is you want to do. It's Sunday, maybe you have time to just pause for a moment, a little bit longer on the floor. Um, <laughs> so nice. Um, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow I will launch October. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm going to be running around the garden taking pictures today. Um, it's always an exciting day when I'm doing photo shoots. And people ask me often how I do the photo shoots. So the photo shoots are where I set up my little camera, my phone, on a rock, or if I have a little a camera holder or something. And then I start thinking about what I want to do or how I want to move. And I just begin to move in that way. And I usually find a place to do it in. And then I find the right yoga trousers. And then I think about, you know, just angles and the sunshine and the whole picture. And I'm just moving. I'm just like randomly moving. And then I look at the video and I take a screenshot of the video on the phone. And then that's what it is. So it's just a screenshot of one of the a part of the video that I'm going to make today. <laughs> Um, so you'll see it tomorrow. <laughs> there was talk of including the geese. So <laughs> there could be some wildlife or some some uh, farm animal adventures today. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I could be running around chasing geese for a while. Uh, <laughs> so be well. Ciao, ciao, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>